My name is Only Rubimani. I'm the Honorary Dean of the Business School at LUMS. My area of expertise is accounting and I focus presently on research based on financial management for tech startups. My primary education, in fact, was in Switzerland and I studied in the UK and I studied in Canada. Uh, I studied a little bit more in the UK again uh, and then I joined the uh, London School of Economics and became a professor there with a, a specialty initially looking at the social and philosophical aspects of control systems and accounting structures. Um, over a period of time, I became quite interested in uh, high tech and the impact that technology has on society and also on entrepreneurship. Uh, so my latest area of research is around the area of financial management for high tech firms. And my, my sense is that increasingly across the globe, we see more and more individuals opting for an entrepreneurial career. I think technology is changing all of that and there's a need for a body of knowledge to guide individuals sort of much more solidly in that, in that direction. My sense is that, uh, first of all, the business school has been in existence for over 30 years. Um, it actually has the stature in Pakistan, which maybe Harvard has in the US, or Oxford or Cambridge in the UK, or Tokyo in Japan, essentially, over a very short period of time, it's had a huge impact. It is the premier institution in Pakistan. And uh, it started really with just a business school with other schools having been added over the course of time. Um, the spirit of the business school was really to educate managers to change society. And the premise was that Harvard and the other universities like Western in Canada, uh, had a major input into the style of education that we would provide at the business school. Um, I think that's gone on very, very successfully for over 30 years. Uh, today, the school has grown immensely. We have over 60 members of uh, staff. Uh, we have a, a large number of students and programs. We have undergraduate programs. We have sort of graduate programs. We have a doctoral program. Uh, my view is that the past 30 years we've been immensely successful, perhaps over and beyond anyone's sort of objectives at the outset. But I think that the world is really changing very, very quickly, perhaps more so today than we've ever encountered before. And so if we look at, for instance, technology, we have new forms of technologies that are not just changing how we deliver education, but they're enabling people to do very different things once they're outside the educational system. Um, so one of the core premise of the business school is essentially to equip our students to basically mobilize technologies to their advantage and to sort of uh, society's advantage. Um, so this is one, one key element. Uh, second element is that the globe is undergoing a major shift. Uh, partly, there's a move towards a new form of liberalism. Uh, I think Pakistan is part of that discourse, uh, but perhaps more significantly, I think we've talked in the past about developing countries becoming more westernized. I think today we're talking about the globe becoming more easternized. I think there's a, an economic shift in the axis towards places like China, and India and Malaysia and Indonesia. And I think that Pakistan has a major role to play in that broad sort of trajectory of change. Um, if I think of the business school's objectives, um, the market that we look at is immense and it's growing. If we look at the immediate market in Pakistan, there are maybe 210 million people. Approximately a third are under the age of 15. Another third are sort of between 15 and 30. Pakistan has the highest number of youths as a proportion of the total population, more so than any other country in the world. I think what that means is for the premier school in management, we have a major duty, a major responsibility to service the stakeholders. Uh, so Pakistan, I think, is our first and primary category of stakeholders. Beyond that, we also want to make an impact. So traditionally, the business school has invested in a certain form of education, which is primarily case-based design thinking, applied type of education, which 
individuals graduating from here can basically hit the ground running. I think that as we go forward, we want to invest to a degree into pure research. That will allow us to rise in the global rankings. It will allow us to partner with other institutions globally uh, and it will retain our primary focus on being the foremost institution in Pakistan. So through various forms of global accreditation, I think we can make a statement to the world that we're here, we've arrived at a business school, and we've even sort of gone over and beyond what other business schools have been able to accomplish. Uh, but I think aside from that, there's an extreme distinctiveness about the business school here. And this is that a primary focus of the education that we provide is focused on integrity and ethics. So of course, Pakistan is an Islamic society, but I think what we want to do here is to graduate individuals which nurture and uphold the idea of the highest form of integrity in all of their transactions. So that is absolutely key to what we do. Um, the second point is that we're a business school which will not only react to global rankings of what makes a business school great. We're going to use global rankings, but we're also going to develop a distinctiveness, which allows us to essentially make an impact unlike any other school, and an impact which is very specific to the needs of the region. So, for instance, our ultimately our motto is to provide outstanding management education for the betterment of society. So if we sort of look at that premise, we want to sort of focus on providing excellent education and we want also to focus on our ability to impact social change. I, I think in terms of that, traditionally we focus on research, we focus on teaching and my sense is that the business school has to continue in that trajectory, refining the model in the light of new technologies, in the light of population shifts, in the light of global structural changes. We essentially want to develop a mission which um, echoes global changes as well as the types of needs that we see on the ground in terms of our stakeholders. So that in a nutshell is what we're after. I've visited LUMS uh, uh, three or four times over the past three years. I initially, I, I think my um, perception of what LUMS might be was tainted by what I hear outside Pakistan. And I think that was a, a, a challenge to come here and totally reconstitute my sort of sense of what LUMS is about. I think it's, LUMS represents an oasis in Pakistan, uh, which allows one to basically advance intellectually, socially, to experiment with new ideas. It makes individuals more innovative. Uh, in, in every single sense. Um, so that's my first sense of LUMS. It provides a platform for individuals to do things here which they might not be able to do elsewhere in the most beautiful of settings. I think LUMS has an outstanding campus. Uh, one could almost call it a national park. Uh, without doubt, it is a national treasure. Um, so that's my first impression of LUMS. Incredibly modern and uh, um, a, a beautiful relationship between the buildings the people here and the environment. Um, so there is a very strong sense of belonging to an institution that is part of what Pakistan is about. And, and I think that was a very, very pleasant surprise. Uh, in terms of my visits to other parts of Pakistan, so uh, of course I've visited the old city and I've uh, visited museums here in Lahore. Uh, my intent is to visit other places in Pakistan. Uh, certainly I visited Islamabad and that was an eye-opener, a very, very, very different city uh, from uh, Lahore, uh, perhaps much more recent, but uh, with equal depth. Um, I've also visited uh, the northern side of Pakistan, so I've been to Gilgit, I've been to Hunzai, and to me that, that is uh, essentially uh, a Switzerland without tourists. Uh, it is sort of one of the most beautiful parts that I've seen uh, anywhere in the world, and I've traveled sort of a, a fair amount. Um, so my, my view is that there really is a treasure which perhaps the world needs to discover, uh, uh, maybe not as very traditional tourists, but with tourists with an eye for the unusual, an eye for natural beauty, 
Um, and perhaps what defines Pakistan most, and which may also come to a, as, as a surprise to uh, individuals outside Pakistan, is that people in Pakistan are incredibly warm, they're very compassionate, they're very, very welcoming. Uh, there is no sense of vulnerability that I've ever felt here. Uh, so my, my view is that, uh, you know, Pakistan should invite the rest of the world open arm to come and visit and experience and uh, basically savor. Students who come to LUMS typically apply elsewhere, but uh, LUMS is where they want to be. And of course, there are always fewer students than applicants. Uh, this is the case in most sort of outstanding universities across the globe, and LUMS is no exception. I sense that students who come here um, uh, come here at a time in their lives, especially undergraduates, where they're very open to change and LUMS provides them with a formative experience. It's an experience that will actually sort of shape all their activities and their thinking and their intelligence and the way that they behave throughout the course of their life. So the three or four years that they might spend here or as a graduate students, perhaps a little bit shorter, I think sort of determines the way that they're going to experience life and what they're going to give back to, to life. Um, in terms of uh, my, my broad message to every single individual, be they staff or faculty or students, is that um, you're in a very, very privileged position to be at LUMS. Uh, I think LUMS should not be taken lightly as a place of choice to work or to come to to study. I think that once you're here, you have to recognize that you have a huge social responsibility. You're a handful amongst millions who want to be at LUMS and once you leave the environment and if you're working here then throughout your lives, your professional lives here, you need to essentially give back to society, give back to Pakistan, uh, spread the word about what LUMS is about. So my view is to, across the board, to staff, to faculty, to students, uh, your primary priority should really be to impact society around you. Now, of course, the faculty members, uh, if you enjoy pure research, then you should be here. If you enjoy industrial practice-based research, you should be here. If you're outstanding teachers, then you should be here. If you're a staff member, I think that you're basically supporting an institution that is shaping the Pakistan of tomorrow and, of course, shaping the world of tomorrow. And so you have major responsibilities, perhaps that far exceed those that you might have thought you were taking on when you joined the community here. So my sense is that you're very fortunate to be here. You have a responsibility. You're very welcome. I think that the only individuals that would not be happy at LOMS are individuals who don't aim for excellence in at least one thing that LUMS represents.